What is up, Truth Seekers? This is your Royal Boy, Ben, coming at you with today's absolutely crazy royal news and, of course, analysis. So, we have some piping hot tea here. And uh, the latest developments in this endless Megxit saga just keep on giving like the perpetual dumpster fire that it is. So, I know you're excited for more. But before we delve into the tumultuous details, I'd like to say a big thank you for all your love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do and press the all-important bell icon as well. So, if you haven't been following the cringe fest, it seems that King Charles himself is now living in abject horror over his traitorous son Harry and daughter-in-law Meghan's future schemes to keep dragging the firm through the mud. Can't say I blame the old man one bit for str being stressed to the bowels over these two grifters from what my trusted royal insider is telling me. Chuck is boiling with incandescent rage behind the scenes over Meghan's plans to cash in Harder on the Sussex brand by writing a sordid tell-all book about her brief tenor as a working role. He's apparently losing sleep in cold sweats, just dwelling on the possibility of this chick's awaited revenge porn memoir dropping. Note that the mere idea of Megan putting virtual pen to paper shouldn't surprise anyone, really. The narcissistic knucklehead has been trying to chance to rewrite her historical humiliation ever since the monarchy gave her a thirsty ass the ultimate cancellation years ago when they stripped her of titles and duties. The saltiness is still very much real. Now, just imagine the kind of unhinged, delusional, blame-shifting fix we're in for from Meghan's Walt perspective too. You just know it'll read like white nonsense rendition of Princess Diaries, exaggerating her own marginal importance while downplaying the utterly toxic behaviour that led her well-deserved banishment from the palace hallways by people with functioning souls. At this point, the Brubiki former Duchess will say literally anything at all, no matter how detached from reality, to re-spin the conventional narrative of her acting as a corrosive, decisive person on the royal establishment before being removed her fragile ego just can't handle the truth here, but let's, here is the real snub, guys, that got King Chuck preemptively shedding years of his dwindling life force, according to my deep crown sources, Megan won't be the only one weighing in on this tomfoolery, if such a tell-all does indeed see the light of day, no sir, the biggest existential threat could very well be Harry's own potentially scorching contributions, to the whole project, you see, according to respected role biographer Tom Quinn, not only is Meghan keenly aware that a venomous first-person account of her ill-fated time in the spotlight would generate millions in book sales, she also knows her disgraced hubby would be a must-have contributor for maximum commercial impact. Quinn alludes that Charles is filled with absolute horror that his renegade son and perpetual disappointment factory could lend his first-hand insider role perspective to whatever... Liblius smear campaign Megan's concocting, no matter how heavily fictionalized and warped the man battered narrative is destined to become, vestiges of Harry's name and pedigree would still provide a thin veneer of plausible authenticity here. Just imagine the dim witted former prince appending his stamp of foolish grievance upon whatever depraved tales get spun about supposed palace racism or lack of empathy. But Kid Clueless still represents the last infinitesimal thread of anchoring Meghan's credibility to anything resembling actual source facts. Regarding to her marginal brush with royalty a few years ago, so I reckon Charles would take great solace in banishing this looming spectre of Harry's involvement at all costs before his evil offspring regurgitates more self-serving fan fiction about him, the firm while enriching his narcissistic spouse. Now, an absolutely ideal world devoid of grift, both wayward in-laws would have been so thoroughly disgraced and spiritually exiled from polite society by now that no major publisher would entertain their self-victimizing propaganda racks. But alas, we live in the age of modern infamy, where compromised Clapture Awards, irredeemable depravity with money and PR oxygen. So, it's all but inevitable that a complete non-entity like Megan, the megalomaniac, will get bankrolled to scribble her unchecked delusions into some shameless cash grab, setting her sordid fables into immutable print for eternity. 
And we all know old footage of Harry bitching incoherently about microaggressions or wearing stupid funny costumes will get cherry-picked there in uh, supporting evidence of unique oppression. At least that's got to be the working game plan Megan has already pitched to her agent an Adderall field odyssey of Did You Know Prince Harry was forbidden from doing X harmless thing because systematic racism. The absolutely type material that just is weak as piss. Just page after page of excruciating, page of selective retconning and bad faith axe grinding against people who showed her kindness and gave the striving D-lister an earned opportunity to begin with. Simply imagining the type of self-serving slander this deluded grifter would eagerly spew and profit from by cannibalizing what's left of her husband's standing and legacy is enough to make any neutral soul wretch in disgust, and I've little doubt Chuck is currently choking on bile each time these worries cross his regal mind these days, but that's the perpetual dark cloud looming over his monarchy's reputation nowadays, In it, The prospect of infinite calumnies coming from the fetid minds of two deranged and employable exiles for anyone in Charles' position atop of eroding pinnacle of centuries-old pomp Trying their damnedest to uphold tradition, the idea of his son participating in further reputational desecration must fill him with rage. At this stage, it'd be no surprise if Chaz has developed crippling PTSD at this point. Why would they, when defamation and hereditary betrayal remain their sole marketable skills from Quinn's reputable read, Harry already seems to fancy himself a lost cause for reconciliation with his estranged patriarchs anyway. So, you can colour King Charles royally screwed then, eh? With no escape from being under parliamental. Generational punching bag for all his insolence and spiteful memoir musings and crocodile persecution complexes. Well, that sure was an interesting one today. What? on earth do you think will happen next in this absolutely insane Sussex saga? Well, of course, as we always say on this channel, only time will actually tell, but do not worry one bit. I'll be back very, very soon with more Ow, scalding. Wow, hot tea. Don't sip it just yet. But before closing in, guys, of course, you all know the drill. If you haven't already, make sure to like subscribe and share the video to help spread the word your support is really important to us here on the channel so we really thank you for everything that you have done and uh, watching and staying with us so far so guys i hope you have a great day ahead and of course until next time guys this is goodbye from me for now have a great day bye bye